Hey guys, welcome back to Brito's Gaming and our Tuesday Transport Fever. I guess we call it Euro Fever Tuesdays, our series. This will be episode number three. Um, let's have a quick look. I've skipped through to the 1st of January 1875. We now have zero loan. We have 6.65 million in the bank and we have jumped up to 5.13 million income for our um, railroad. Now, if we jump in here, everything. Our income, finding which church is making the most of money, and everything else is doing fairly well. Dorchester bus service, which is here, isn't doing overly well. Um, how many buses have we got actually? Eight buses, but there's people everywhere, so they need to pick up their act. Nuts for Dorchester isn't making much. Farnham to Dorchester, Perth to Dorchester. Okay, hopefully they will pick up eventually. So this episode, I want to get Dorchester connected to Ferry Hill. I want to go through Perth as well and get him all that stuff connected. I want to go to Fairford and get some stuff connected there and also over to Salcombe over here. So Fairford's all happy. So let's head on in and get um, Dorchester connected to Ferry Hill up here. So we're going to need... Um, obviously a train station. I'm thinking out here somewhere, so... I think we won't demolish it that much. Maybe if we can come straight through there. From there to there. Join them up. Get rid of that. We'll just stick our station just here then. So passenger 240 long. Um, let's we'll do it four. We'll do four. Why not? Get him right out as far as we can. Beam, that's in. Now I'm pretty sure. Let me have a look. I've got a bit of paper here. So Perth was going to go to Ferry uh, to Fairford. So, Ferry Hill was going to go to, um, Dorchester's to Ferry Hill, and Ferry Hill was going to go to Salcombe, to Hinkley, and also Bliston. Liston, Hinkley, Salcombe, and Dorchester for Ferry Hill. So the four station will work fine. Now we will put our speed to one and hopefully bring in some more money while we're doing this. Head straight up. Continue to head up towards Ferry Hill. We could always put a bridge over this road there, but I don't think actually it might be an idea if we can or not. Doesn't want to let us do it. Maybe if. Now it's going to cost us a fair chunk of money. How about we don't do that? Oop. Got rid of the wrong stuff. The bridges seem to go fairly high. We don't really need it that high, so... Try and level this back down again to where it was. Uh, it's not too bad. Okay. We'll continue on. Pretend that didn't happen. Let's head straight through the intersection. So, Ferry Hill will go to Salcombe, which is over here, Hinkley, and. 
Bliston. So this guy will come into the left side of the station. Um, about there, that'll do. So that's connected up. Bring the road down to here. Join that up. Join this up. Get a ring road going. Put in our usual bus depot. I don't know if we'll fit in here. Yeah, we will. Might bring it down a little bit just in case we want to expand. Um, expand the station later on. Which we shouldn't, but you never know. So bring this up. I'm going to need a fair few bus stops in here. So one in there will be nice. One in there. Um, one in there. That looks like the whole town covered. Okay, so we'll go in and get the buses set straight up. Get four straight on the new line, which we keep forgetting to create before we go buying things. So this is Ferry Hill Bus Service. And it'll be white. Now, let me double check and make sure they're all called bus service, that's right. Start naming these through Hill Bus One. Rename Ferry Hill Bus Two. Ferry Hill Bus Three. Ferry Hill. Bus number four. Now have a look at these um, trains. So 48 is my usual pickup amount, but because I've put in some new trains and eight carriages, there's 64. So we want to try and keep it back to just the 48. So now we want another new line from here to here. So there'll be white. The right one. The Dorchester Ferry Hill. I think I spelled all those wrong. The um, buses back there, but it doesn't matter. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll just put six on this time. We want to go Dorchester to Ferry Hill. Dorchester Ferry Hill done. It's waiting for a clear path. That's right, they're going to be the double train coming in and out of there, isn't there? Okay, so get him heading down. So I've actually got five coming into here instead of four. speed him up. On his way, got nobody on board. It's because it's a brand new service, so money has dwindled away again because the new vehicles was six point two nine million. It's fairly expensive, what we're actually doing. So Terry Hill's connected. Now I want to get Perth to Fairford next. Um, just up to here. Okay, I might have to change that name. Just change it to Newcastle. The name is way too long. 
That's actually where I live, Newcastle, but not in England, where I'm assuming this name actually comes from. Which one are we using? We're using the right one, okay. So we want to head up to Fairford. We want to look at the contours. We want to sort of follow the road if we can. Now, it doesn't matter too much where we put the station exactly. Um, I haven't worked out where we're going to go to from here. Uh, I'll actually get rid of that. Expensive to join that to there. Actually, digs away at the ground a fair whack there. So we put a station in here. So one, two, and three. So we'll just do a three station, and we'll get a train. Will come out the back. Absolutely shocking. Maybe we do it on the other side. Jeez. It's not really an ideal location because of the way the land is. Doesn't matter where we put it, it's going to be fairly expensive. How about um, maybe here somewhere? Obviously connect that back to here. Put in a depot. Whack in a bus depot. We might be able to get one in here somewhere if we can. So now, we're going to try and come around that side of the road. Because this land is not ideal for us at the moment. we can do, we're going to have to just go for it. It's about as cheap as it's going to get um, to there. to there. Now we'll go in the far left side. Fingers crossed it's going to allow us to come straight out. Someone's going to go to Bliston, wasn't it? Okay. So they can both come out the back side. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Not much we can do, we can't really raise it or lower it any. Um, it's going to head to Newcastle, so... And what do we do? Do we just go straight through the mountain or we try and come around and in that way I think that might be the idea I'm not going to do the line fully obviously I'm just going to sort of get it set up 
head in the right direction. And leave it there. Set a fair chunk out of the ground as well. So there he goes, he's going to head out that way now. There's not much we can do, the land is just not the best through here. I'm going to go saving a lot of money, we're nearly out of cash already. Bump the speed up a bit. Wait for hopefully some trains to bring us some money back in. I'm trying to run down the side of this road. See if that's going to save us a little bit of cash for a little while. Yeah, done. So we've got Perth to Fairford connected. Got a new line set up. Perth to Fairford. White. Um, need a capital F for Fairford. So that's done and dusted. Now we need to have a look at Fairford and sort out their roads a little bit. Not the best um, bit of land we can work with. Okay, so we need to go to our bus stops. Have a look at this guy. We want a bus stop, so we want to so come around here, grab a stop there, grab a stop there, and grab a stop there. That looks good to me, so we'll grab the usual four stops, so four buses. We need a new line, because we still keep forgetting to do a new line first. That's white. Fairford bus service. Slow it down. Got a bit more money in the bank now. So it's building pretty quick. Fairford bus one. Fairford bus two. Should be Fairford, not Fair Fopperded. Fopperd. Fairford bus three. And it's Fairford bus four with more mistakes. So that's done, so we want to grab a train now. Another massive expense. So one. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going Perth to Fairford. Perth, Fairford. That's correct. Grab another signal and put one just here. Uh, we shouldn't need signals on these sides. So he should, fingers crossed, go straight through, and then he will have to wait and oh, get rid of our money losses. Oh. Perth to Fairford train. Six carriages this time. And my next step.
was to go to Salcom and get them connected to a few. So we've got um, uh, Ferry Hill here. I was going to connect him to Salcom. Fairford will leave for now, I think. So Ferry Hill, there's some passengers there waiting to go. Way back with 10. Oh, new vehicle, what is it? Steam train. I think that's a tram. There are 23 waiting here. So we want to go from Ferry Hill now to Salcombe. I think we're also going to go uh, no that's the first station to go to Salcombe actually so we've got um, Ferry Hill to Salcombe and then Salcombe to Hinkley and Salcombe to order Aldershot which we haven't done yet have we um no, so we do Elder Shot to Salcom will be the first the first one we, we get done. So we'll whack that there. I'd like to put the station here somewhere. Now obviously ideally you'd want to put it near residential area, but it doesn't matter because we're gonna go busing people to the station to and from, so It's not that big a deal. So we're going to go from Ferry Hill, Hinkley, and also Aldershot. So if we can sort of angle it a little bit this way, we should be okay. Put in a bus depot uh, nice and close, about there. Bus station, I should say, bus stop. Bus depot will just stick next door. We'll get some bus stops going. So one there, one around there, and so one in here. Put in a new line first will be a good idea. So our Salcom bus service, you all connected up. Salcom bus service, done and done. Do the same thing and buy four buses or four. Or whatever that says. Um, Salcom bus service. Salcom bus one. Salcom bus two. So Perth to Fairford still got nothing on board. Salcom bus three, but I don't think. He's even made it to the other station yet, so that could be the reason why. So we'll come bus four. So they're done. Now we need to get this one connected up. And we are using the middle line. So we'll need to head around. Oop. To the right of this um, oil refinery. I'm thinking that's where they expand to, so we don't want to encroach on that if we can avoid it. So we can use it at a future date. So Salcom was going to go to Ferry Hill and Hinkley. It was up there and there, so we're going to come into the left side of the station. back down and work out where we are and join them together. It's a fairly flat run over here which is awesome. So that's that joint. So another new line from Older Shot to Salicom. Older Shot Salicom White Get rid of that. 
So we've got a list of stuff here, so I'm just trying to tick everything as we go so we don't forget anything. So buy a new train. Uh, white one, we've got six carriages. So we've got Elder Shot to Salcom. Off you go, my friend. Elder Shot, Salcom. Shut that down. It's coming back with two passengers from Perth to Fairford, which is good. This town's building fairly quick. They're all building pretty quick, the ones we're building at the moment, so. It's all passengers there. Now we've got Salcom to Ferry Hill. Ferry Hill is connected to Dorchester. So Salcom to Ferry Hill was our next stop. Okay, so what's are we better off coming out the back or out the front? They'll probably come out the back and go around the back of this guy. So we'll use the far left one. Try and keep our speed up. Okay, so we'll get through there first. And then we'll start turning. There we go. So I'm thinking we use the far left one because Ferry Hill is going to Hinkley and uh, Bliston. So if you use the far left one out of Ferry Hill, we should be fine. I think it's going to be a fairly slow turn. We get up to 100 k's. That'll do, I think. Don't want to encroach much on on the steel mill there so we need to sort of swing him back around slowly head him back down some more flat land here which is awesome there we go so that's that one connected I'm gonna put in a depot here I know the depots have got have been working at the moment, but I'm sort of concerned that they may become an issue later on, so that should be okay there. We'll put in a signal just there, that should be fine. The Selcon's gonna head up to Hinkley in a second. So Salcom to Ferry Hill is done. New line from there to there. So, Salcom, Ferry Hill, done and done. We've still got money in the bank, so we're doing pretty good. We've got no loan, as we know. Salcom to Ferry Hill. And rename him. And he's off as well. So we'll head on in and have a look at him. Two trains heading into the station there. It's a beautiful sight. So Salcombe to Hinkley was our next stop. He's straight up there, so that's a hefty, hefty sort of hike this one will be. We'll do what we usually do and look at our rail first. So Farnham to Dorchester 16 minutes. Nutsford to Dorchester 16 minutes. Yeah, they are probably just do it that way, it'd be easier. A few things are losing money, so Perth to Fairford's losing money, but that's... 
That's a new one. Salcom to Ferry Hills losing, but that's new. Elder Shot to Salcom's new. Fairfair Bus Service is new. Salcom Bus Service is also new, so. Need to give these things time to start to start working. Perth to Fairford. Have they got anybody on the four of forty eight? Nineteen to come back. It's fifty five waiting, so they're going fairly good. We'll head down to Farnham now. Our hub where we first started. Look at the size of this town now. This thing has just become massive. We need to ensure we're getting the whole town again. Which looks of it we are with all our our services. Obviously we're gonna to have to put some buses on the outside here eventually. Some stops around the outside because this is only gonna keep getting bigger. I was planning on trying to put an airport in here, but they keep building, so we'll just let them keep expanding. There's 144 people waiting to go somewhere. There's two trains heading in. Is that a new one? Yeah, that's a new train. Here's one of the old ones. Watch him head on in and see how much money he makes. 45 of 64. 272k. Now look at which church. That's this is going bonkers too. 142 people. It's people all heading to the bus stop. There's 40 people waiting here. So we need. It's like we need more buses, but I'm sure we have heaps. Um, there's already eight there. We can't keep putting more and more on. So it's expanding. Heem Bay's got a fair bit. Eldershot's slowly building up. Dorchester's got a few people waiting. Nutsford's fairly busy as well. Perth is fairly busy. It's people out here want to get to the train station. Because that's a residential area. So how many buses do we have? There's five there at six at Perth. Help them expand their roads a little. It's definitely becoming a decent sized city. It's probably going to expand over the, this side of the river eventually. I think if we can... Just got to get these guys in. Oop. Actually, I haven't looked at, it, looked at a tram track yet. interesting. You can have electric or just a tram track. Cool. Okay, so next on the list is Salcombe to Hinkley, which is straight up through here, um, which will be the last place that Salcombe's connected to. Now we'll look at the contours. Probably better off coming through this way. Let's have a look. The residential residential areas over here. So get rid of that. We want one of these guys. So haven't really looked at Hinkley yet. So Ferry Hill is going to go to Hinkley and Bliston. So that's one. Two, so I'm thinking maybe four for this one, so we can go to Warham as well. So four wide. Um, so you mean have a bit of a better look. About there we'll do. We'll whack in our bus depot. Just in there, a bus station I should say, a bus depot will go next door. Need to connect these loops up here. So there to there, 
connect that to there. There to there as well. No, not like that. Like that. So we'll need to whack in some bus stops. So say you'll come out and stop in here. This guy can stop there. This guy can stop there and head back into there. Okay, so we want a new line. One, two, three, and four stops in Hinkley. I was sort of hoping they would use their brain and go around, but it doesn't look like going to yet. Doesn't matter. So Hinkley bus service. We'll do the norm. Four buses on this line to start with. Get rid of that. Set line all. Hinkley bus service. Hinkley bus one. Hinkley bus number two. Hinkley bus three. Hinkley bus four. I need to work out on joining the town together now. Um, yeah, it's going to be a fairly up and down sort of run, I think. I'm going to come out the middle, middle lane. Ferry Hilda Salcombe's got one on board. So we'll try and follow the contoured line if we can. We're sort of going to miss it a little bit there. And we should get back on the right path. Unfortunately, it's just, I think as we get further north in this map, we're just going to encounter a lot more problems with um, with hills and stuff, so we're just going to have to deal with it. I've so got two passengers going back. It's not many. It's getting a bit flatter now, so Hickley's going to go to Wareham, to Bliston, and to Ferry Hill, so we're going the far right station. Well, this one. I'm going to worry too much about terrain edit now. We've got the money there, and the more terrain that gets edited, obviously the flatter the, the run's going to be, so it's going to be better for us. So that's a very, very long line. So we're going to go from Salcombe to Hinkley. I think we spelled it wrong. We did. Salcombe to Hinkley. It needs to be white. We need a new train. We've got 3.6 mil in the bank, so we're still getting money in, which is good. Set this guy off, Salcom to Hinkley. Done and done. So I'll just quickly tick that off my list. So Salcom's done. Now Ferry Hill's gotta to go to Hinkley. Ooh. I have to come around here, I think. Wow, that's a decent sized mountain. We might go through it. We've got 2.2 mil. We sort of want to head this way, I think. So the middle left one. We're going to do it. I don't think we've made a tunnel yet, so. 
Let's make this the first one. How much is it going to cost us? Absolute shed load. And done. Wow, that is a hefty tunnel. Okay, so we'll swing this around and in as fast as we can without slowing down too much. Near perfect. That's that connected already. It's a nice quick one. So, get rid of that. Set up a line. We don't have a depot yet. We'll get one sorted out. So white, very hill to pink. We done and done. These two are heading out that way, aren't they? Okay, so Really want to connect anywhere? Can we connect him here now? There we go. This one. There and there. Beautiful. Turn this around. Put in a couple of signals. Signals, not lines. Shouldn't need one there. No, that should be fine. Okay, so I've got Ferry Hill to Hinkley. White train. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Ferry Hill, Hinkley. Off you go. Ferry Hill. Hinkley, he's off. Okay, Ferry Hill and Hinkley's ticked off. Got one more to go. Um, Ferry Hill to Bliston was the next one. This is going to be another massive line. The land looks decent, decently flat there. Now, as far as Bliston goes, we weren't going to connect it to Fairford. Well, actually, I haven't got anything for Fairford yet, so... Um, so, into there, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's make it a six station. Why not? want to get rid of that one so if we put a quick road in here demolish that get rid of those we want that one by 240 by 6 that there beautiful can put in Depot on this side. Bus stop. The cop corner. Stop corner. A bloody depot. We put a depot in there. Now, this road is not connected. So we'll just stick it to there. Shortcut it to there. Still not happy because it's time. 30% over time because I've cut it around, but that's fine. They will work around it. So, Ferry Hill to Bilston. Now, it's a second from the left. Straight ahead. Keep on chugging straight through there. OK, 
Okay, so we're going to go one, say two, three, four, five, six. So the third from the left will go. That's a rough guess. As you can probably tell, I'm not really working out where I'm going before doing the episodes. I'm sort of just winging it, seeing where it takes us, and just go from there. Perfect. Okay, so that is Ferry Hill to Bilston. So we get a line set up. Get it renamed. So Ferry Hill Bilston. Done and done. Now we need to sort out our bus stops. That and that and that. So we we'll need to connect these roads up. There to there. Here to there. There to there. Now, a new line. One, two, three, and four. It's white. Billston bus service. God, fingers aren't working today at all. Billston bus service. Do the usual. Um, we grab four. One, two, three, four. Set line, Bilston bus service, off we go. Bilston bus one. Bilston bus number two. I need to try and fix that issue with that thing flashing up the top. It's going to become an issue and annoying. Bilston bus three. Bilston bus four. The only thing I can think of is to maybe come across to there. Maybe hook that into there. That's got rid of it. Thank you very much. Okay, so that is everything I've got on my current list connected. So that's been a decent episode, I think. We started off with Perth, got it connected to Fairford. Nothing's coming out of Fairford yet, so and then we've connected um, Ferry Hill, we've finished off Ferry Hill. We've also finished off Salcom as well. They're all all the lines are connected, Ferry Hill's all connected. So that was a, a decent episode, I think. Um, we borrowed some more money, so let's pay that off. Speed it up a little bit. I know we're still in a little bit of debt, four mil of debt, but we started with zero, so that's not too bad considering where we'd started. So all these new towns have bus services as well. Everything's good to go. This town is still just expanding like nothing else. We'll have a look and see which our biggest town is. Yep, we'll click on the towns. Population is Whitchurch, is our number one town at the moment, 710 people. Have a look at it, it is just expanding so quick. Thinking we might, so whacking a stop down there, no it's not really going to matter. So we want to go after Albert Road. Whitchurch, so Albert Road, you want to go to there. No, that's wrong. So you want to click on Albert Road and then there. I've got, I do know I've got heaps of buses in there at the moment, but it's like we still need more. There's just people everywhere. 73 waiting at the buses, 105 at the station. Still people coming in, walking in and getting dropped off by the bus. There's a load of five people. Then he picks up five and he'll head back off. So it, 
It's absolutely crazy at the moment. It's a busy little busy little spot. Nearly cleared our debt. Another two mil to go. We'll have a look at our um, oh, not new lines. I want to have a look at our lines. So now bus services all should be. I want them definitely less than two minutes, which these are fairly close. But we church is every 53 seconds. It's like it's still not enough. They're still chock a block and Dorchester's full every time. Salcombe's full every time. So there's people here everywhere waiting to go. 19, 16, 13. end of the year again. I'm going to buy another four of these guys. Oh, Salcombe bus service, there we go. We did have a new line, so we need to delete that because I'm not using it. Can't wait till we get some faster buses and bigger capacity. It'll be great. Salcombe bus six. Falcon bus seven. Falcon bus eight. That's it. That's done. So that should have dropped down to forty-eight seconds. So that's good. Drop that down heaps. So these ones here, like they're not full yet. Once these numbers start becoming extremely full, I look at Dorchester. That's full. Nutsford's full. Whitchurch is full. Ian Bay's nearly full. Farnham's full. We needed to keep bumping up the buses. It's just... It's going to be hard to keep up with, I think. And there's our debt paid out. So we're making... 10.5 million last year, 1879. So it's within 30 years, we're now earning $10.5 million. Perth is absolutely nuts. The passengers as well. If we look at our stations, uh, it won't actually sort by cargo. Look, 150, 101, 75, 75. Keep an eye on our, um, our trains. So the trains are still 100% full. Heme Bay to Whitchurch is. Nuts for the Perth is. I'll look at it. Heme Bay to Whitchurch. Actually, we'll get the train, not the actual line. Where are we? Whitchurch to Heme Bay. Here he comes. Oh, that's fine up to Heme Bay. Okay. Where's our Whitchurch to Heme Bay? Here he is. So he's full. You can click on him eventually. It's like we're going to need to bump him up a little bit, I think. Give him the faster train and the more carriages. I think he's still he's still the older train, so. So Team Bay to Whitchurch. Got an auto replace. Replaced at 30 years, so how old is it? It's only 19 years old, so. That'll be an option. We need to get this guy bumped up. Because how many people. Oh, another year gone by. How many are going to Heme Bay? 51. So he's chockers every time. Did we not put a train on Ferry Hill to Bliston yet? That was not like we have, actually. No, I don't think we have. Okay, well, we need to get that done before the end of the episode, which is coming up pretty quick. I 
We'll head him to the depot and we'll replace him. Grab a white one. We'll replace it with eight cars. Eight Bavarian cars that bump them up to what, 64 passengers, I think. So we'll sell that. Buy this one. Okay, I think I clicked on the wrong button. Get rid of that. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A total of 64. So Heem Bay to Whitchurch. Off you go, my friend. 64, let's see if he gets a full load. All these the stations are just absolutely nuts of passengers. It's 53, so that's pretty good, I'm happy with that. So we haven't put a train into um, Liston yet. We haven't got a depot here either. Was that what I was looking at? I'm not sure. So, Bliston to Fairford to Newcastle. So, that's those three. And then one, two, and three, I think we were going to do. So, we'll just put um, line out to here. This one, okay. This one into here somewhere. Can we do that? No. I don't think it's going to like it a lot. Okay, come down a bit further. I'll see if that'll help us. There we go. We need a rail depot on there, we need a signal on there, so this is this one, white, six, it'll be Ferry Hill to Bliston, off you go, Ferry Hill, Bliston. Off they go. So that's everything connected now that we wanted to connect. That's just under an hour for this episode. Things are still going absolutely nuts. We've still got what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Counting correctly. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 13 more cities to connect and we've connected the entire map. And then we'll um, get working on other things. Probably some freight stuff. Maybe a bit of optimization for our um, you know, uh, passenger services and stuff. So, But yeah, that's um, episode number three of our Tuesday Transport Fever Euro Fever series. So thanks for watching, and as per usual, like and comment and subscribe if you want to, and uh, we'll see you for episode 4 shortly.